I'm looking at coral and shells and probably seaweed, although seaweed's not an animal. This is the kind of work we think of, I think, when we think Matisse. Usually it's what he is most famous for. All right, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this kind of image, however. I want us to look more at his figurative work today because we are gonna practice our study of figure drawing. I don't know where to start. This is always a problem for me. Those of you who are new students, I love so much of our artists, focus artists work that I have a hard time picking and choosing what to share. So I should do, I forget what the word is, a warning, I guess. I am gonna show some nudes, but we're all adults here. <laughs> Artists draw nudes. That's what we do. The human figure is gorgeous and beautiful. And the only way really to learn how to draw is to draw the human figure. And frequently when you go to art school, you have to draw the nude figure. So this next picture is by Matisse. It is a nude and it is a drawing. And it's wonderful. Matisse was also famous for the fluidity of his line. And I think you can see some of that in this really voluptuous and gorgeous image of this woman who was posing for him. I do so love, and I want to point out, notice how he uses dark lines in some parts of the figure and lighter indistinct lines in other areas. I want you to pay particular attention to that when you're drawing today, because these darker lines help you to ground or situate the figure on the surface that it is either sitting or laying on or standing on. Artists use darkness to show shadow underneath a figure. It also helps to create the form of the figure that you are trying to draw. Also notice the way Matisse, I hope everyone at home can see my cursor on the screen. Notice the way Matisse sees what we call negative shape. That is this empty internal shape between the model's head, shoulder, neck, and side of her arm, and he emphasizes it. It really helps to show the positive shape of her arm, head, neck, and shoulders. So we wanna start seeing those empty negative spaces when we draw. All right, again, if you have any comments that you wanna share about the images you're looking at, please feel free to share. Is that charcoal? Probably. I, my guess is this medium was charcoal or graphite. I'm gonna show line drawings first, and then we'll look at some of his figurative work in color. But since we're gonna be drawing primarily in pencil for starters today, I wanted to show some of his line work. So this drawing is I'm sure later than the first drawing we looked at. You can see that it's much more simplified, less realistic. But please do notice how fluid the line is. One of the things, I'm gonna shrink it a little bit so it's less blurry and pixelated. One of the things I admire so much about Matisse is 
he needed so few lines to indicate and create what he was drawing. So you don't need a lot in your drawing to capture the figure. Again, some places he used dark, heavy line. In other places, very light lines. You can get a sense of how his style changed also, which I find fascinating. I'm thinking this is probably mid-career, but again, you can see where his lines are loosening up. It's a very free, fluid drawing again, but he's still very much interested in volume and has used shading beautifully. And I am gonna talk about shading today and how we can use it in creating the human figure. Notice the way, for example, along the neck, and again, I hope you can see my cursor here, on this side of the model's neck, it is quite dark shadow. And that is because of the way the light is hitting the figure, it's bright, in the middle, probably because there is either sunlight streaming in, see the bright light here, or Matisse has some kind of spotlight projected on the model to create this kind of brilliant white light. Where the light hits the figure is going to determine where the shadow will be. Usually most of the shadow is underneath and less is on the top. But again, it depends where the light's coming from. I just love this drawing. I'm not even sure why. I just, it's a lot of movement, the way my eye travels around the curves, the many, many curves in this figure. I've always been attracted to Matisse's work because it's really curvy. He, he doesn't celebrate geometry. He's much more organic and curvilinear in his work. And I've always, I've always leaned more towards organic shape. It's interesting to see the mistakes, not the mistakes, but like the arm she's leaning on, like that muscle, you see that he kind of brought it down and then the angle of the arm with the bracelet. To me, those initial lines, you can still see. So he didn't, didn't get it at the first time, but maybe the second. So he kept looking. So brilliant observation from Bill. Thank you so much. Years ago, like, Maybe 20 years ago, I went to a huge retrospective of Matisse's work at MoMA. And the thing that really struck me, here was a man who I venerated my whole life for being able to draw the perfect line. I went and saw his work in person for the first time in my life. The erasures, and folks at home, I hope you can hear this, the amount of erasing he did was a lot. <laughs> like all artists, like all of us here today, he made mistakes. We're none of us perfect, and it's okay. I hope everybody heard that. You're not going to get it right the very first time you do it. We had this conversation yesterday. The first time you do something, you're not going to be your best. It requires practice. And Bill is right. Look at the fact that he works 
a lot on this arm. He moved the outline of the arm several times to get it the way he wanted. So even the most practiced artists on earth made changes to their work. I don't even think of it as a mistake. He made changes until he did it the way he wanted it to be. His vision changed, what he saw changed, and he adapted accordingly. All right, now I think it would be fun perhaps to look at some of his figurative work in color, and then we're gonna go to work. I'm gonna, for those of you who are newbies, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more, and those of you who are here are just gonna go to work, because you are, for the most part, my experienced people. If you want to listen to what I'm gonna teach some of the new members of our group for review, absolutely, Absolutely, you are invited to do so. There's nothing wrong with review, no matter how many years you've been working on your art. Okay, let's look at some of his work in color because he's famous for his color work. People forget that he was a figurative artist too. I think it's kind of overlooked. So it really is nice to be able to look at some of his figure paintings. And to enlarge it. So this one, I don't know, probably was not early in his career. This, the amount of uh, fluidity and in this piece, I'm guessing it was later in his career. Just gorgeous. I love, look at, first of all, he uses black for outline and emphasis, but look at the way he uses white. You see the way the leg and foot here are outlined in white. So no shading here. He's not that interested in volume or realism. He's deliberately flattening out the figure with his use of the out outline. It is very puffy though, isn't it? I guess because of the nature of her clothing. Puffy? Puffy, yeah. Oh, puffy. The pants are puffy. Look at the way he uses stripes. Just so amazing to me. And the way he divided up the space and created this really beautifully textured composition. Just really magnificent. Okay, we're gonna look at one or two more of his paintings. Because I'm itching to get to work now. I think this is an earlier one. Eh, maybe not. No, this looks like the same model. So let's, I'm gonna close this one. It's a pretty cool painting, but um, yeah, this is an early work. It's not opening. Yeah, see my laptop since slow my Lord. It's not that hot, but it's hot. It's a photo. It could be a large. All right, so that one is not opening. Oh, yes, it is. So oh, sorry. My bad. Let's share the screen. Completely different style, but I want to show this one. This is an early work, but you can see 
in his early work, how he was influenced by the post-impressionists, Van Gogh, Durand, and all those other guys. Just starting with the brighter color and the dashy textured brush strokes. Very different. Okay, we're gonna look at one final picture. Um, this is the kind of figurative work that when we think of Matisse's figurative work, this is what he's famous for. Again, this is a nude, just preparing folks. Pat, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't hear you. When I look at this painting, I Okay. Well, I just, I like to let people know in advance because some people may not like it, but I'm glad. I'm happy to hear it's not offensive. <laughs> All right, so anyway, this is um, the kind of figurative work that Matisse is more famous for. He did a whole series of paintings called The Bathers. Mm -hmm. And obviously that's, these are from that series and they are nudes at the beach. Um, and they're either just out of the water or about to go in the water. Here they're playing with a, what looks like a turtle down at the bottom. I so love this tiny bit of red in this huge expanse of green. Yesterday we were talking about complementary colors. Those of you who listened to the review of the color wheel. So there are certain colors that really work off of each other and red and green are wonderful in that respect. And I love this touch of yellow over here is also inspired and very cool. All right. So here's the deal for today, everyone. If you are one of my more experienced students and you determine that on your own, I'm gonna put you right into drawing the model. I do it this way. We will start with very, very quick poses, three minutes poses in the beginning. I'm gonna try and do five three minute poses, then we'll graduate to five minute, then 10 minute. We call these fast poses warm ups. Those of you who are new at this, those of you who may not be feeling confident today, those of you who want further instruction, all of that is good. What I'm gonna do for you is put up on the screen some of the tools I use to teach figure drawing. One of them is a diagram of the human figure. It's gonna take me a minute to find, but I'm gonna project it on the screen for you to look at. Uh, I'm gonna put it up just briefly because I'm thinking it might make it difficult for folks at home to see the model. So while everyone is getting their materials, all you really need are paper and a sharpened number two pencil. Those of you who are veteran students and would like, you can work in color. And if you're hearing a lot of noise, it's 
the in-person students are getting their stuff together. And while they're doing that, I am searching for the diagram of the human figure. Here we, we go. So I don't know if people are going to be able to see you, Bill, as well as this. See how my laptop freaks out in Zoom. I don't know what's up. Laura, is there any way I can show this diagram as well as Bill at the same time? Otherwise, I'm going to have to do a review for everybody really quickly. Oh, I I closed my email, so I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. Yes. Okay, folks at home, we are working out the camera for our model. That looks good, Laura. And um, those of you who want to start drawing, I'm gonna set my timer. And when I say go, you may begin. And at this point, I'm not gonna comment on anybody's work later on in class for the longer poses, I will offer advice. So begin drawing. Those of you who want instruction on how to draw the figure, we're working on getting that diagram up for you. I have not forgotten you, but I can talk about it until we can get the diagram up. It is, it's a little pixelated, but our librarian is working on that. Uh, Liz, that's just on that screen. On different screens, it looks different. Uh, okay. So, those of you who need a refresher, first of all, the human figure is symmetrical. Second of all, we talk about proportion when we look at the figure, and we can literally measure the length of parts of the human body by how many head lengths. And that's what artists do. So for example, the arms and legs are way, way longer than you realize. I'm gonna measure Bill. One, two, three head lengths to the tip of his fingers from the shoulder to the tip of his finger. Or so from the shoulder down. One, two, three head lengths. So the torso is quite long. The legs, last week we measured Bill's legs are four head lengths long. Do not shortchange your figure on the length of the arms and legs. With, you can put the head this way, one, two, three head lengths across. And don't forget the neck. The neck is an essential part of the figure. Now, with these very quick drawings, don't think about detail. Just want to get a quick outline down, and we call this a gesture drawing. We're just trying to capture the angles 
and the direction of things like the shoulder, his hips, where is his hand in relation to his knee? You notice his hand is halfway between his knee and his ankle. His hand is right at his hip. Those kinds of things will help you measure length and proportion. Look more at Bill, our model, and less at your paper. Try and let go of trying to create the perfect drawing now. You're just warming up. All right, so Bill is gonna stop this pose and move into another fast three-minute pose. Again, just like if you're learning how to ride a bike, you are practicing how to do it. This is a fantastic pose. Look at where his elbow is. This is going to help you see how long this part of his arm is. The headline. Pretty awesome. And the elbow is a little bit further out than his knee. Look at where this part of his leg is in relation to the knee. And where the other elbow is. His left elbow is almost right above his left knee. Work quickly. Don't worry about the pattern on his shirt. <laughs> his eyes, his wonderful eyes. Forget that he's wearing a mask. None of that is important in this kind of drawing. This is just a rapid, Sketch. The word sketch means messy. Mm -hmm. Don't grip your pencil tightly, hold it loosely. I like to stand up. When I do these kinds of drawings, you don't have to, but I feel like I get the actual gesture down quicker when I stand up. You can do stick figures, whatever it takes to help you see the proportions of Bill's figure. I don't care if it looks real or not. Doesn't matter. Look at the length of things. Look at you. How do you do this work? You know, it's 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 a system and it's like like a like a dance and once you know the steps you just yeah but i if you guys are loving it then that inspires me and i keep going so i re replace the fear with uh inspiration right well, next pose, sometimes that works <laughs> yeah i can do it i'm going to actually work on that right now i'm just trying to get your the drawing document you wanted me to have yeah. okay Let's try and push this thing close. I told them we were working. <laughs> uh, people at home. If this is closer for you, let us know. You can put it in the chat. Now um, let's begin. Yes. Help me a minute. Let me keep going with this. So we're working very hard to get the diagram of the human figure on the screen for everyone. Bear with us. Again, 
measuring legs from the hip to the mid thigh is the head length. From the mid thigh to the knee is the head length. From the knee to mid calf is the head length. You've got two fantastic legs. You don't worry about the knee. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done running, Bill? Sorry, Ma. <laughs> I think we all ran away from my mother. Especially with that hang around her hands. Okay, Sally, it ain't going to fit. Can you talk about it? It doesn't fit. <laughs> 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 no, no, you'll see. Good, good. It's fast. Don't worry about perfection. Let go of the desire for perfection. Yeah. <laughs> you are getting similar. You're just warming up. Look at Matisse erased. You can erase. You can forgive yourself for glitches. No one will ever know, but you, if it's not exactly the same as the actual figure. I'm not trying to teach you to recreate a photograph here. I'm trying to help you see what's in front of you. If it's perfect, it's not art. Well, a lot of people, all that Fungible art or non fungible art, you know, people would argue with me. So, this is going to be the last three minutes. Is this okay? Yeah. Again. Nice. Look at where the position of his head is thrown back a bit. Look at the length of his neck. Look at the angle of his shoulders. Yeah. It's just brilliant. So the tilt of his shoulders, the tilt of his hips. Capture those two directions, two lines, and capture the whole pose. In this one, you have to really kind of see the length of the legs. How many head lengths is that? So, what we can do, Laura, it just occurred to me. You can let Bill take a short nap and I can project <laughs> after this coach, take a short, that's a nap, short break <laughs> after <laughs> this pose and I can project the diagram on the screen for everyone at home. And then we'll move into our longer pose. You can take a nap now, Bill. <laughs> I'm hard posing with the mask on. So we appreciate it. Oh, 
Everybody at home, can you hear me? Thank you. Yes. Awesome. I hope, folks, my new members to this group, I hope you're not feeling overwhelmed. I think you're awesome. If you've never drawn a human figure before, you should give yourselves a pat on the back. Okay, so Bill, you're going to take a break. <laughs> Everyone who's here, you can draw Bill if you want. <laughs> Or you can watch the screen. Yeah, have fun drawing Bill if you want, or take a break. All right, so I am now going to project that diagram that I wanted to show before. Just as this diagram is so helpful. And I want to talk about the fact that the human brain has two hemispheres because that's going to help you. If you've never drawn before, there is a right hemisphere and a left hemisphere. And the kind of drawing we've been doing right now is a way to access the right hemisphere of the brain, which is the visual part of the brain that we want to wake up and warm up and use. All right, so folks at home, I hope you can see this diagram. It is a way to figure out the proportions of the human figure. And again, this is stuff that I mentioned before. First of all, the thing to notice, the human figure is symmetrical, pretty much the same on both sides. Maybe you've had an accident. Maybe you were born with a difference. But for the most part, the human figure is symmetrical. You can measure size and proportion by head lengths. So the torso, one, two, three head lengths long. Look at the arms, one, two, three, almost four head lengths. The legs, one, two, three, four head lengths. The shoulders, you have to lay the head horizontally here, but one, two, three head lengths wide. Please don't forget the neck. It's essential. And if you don't believe me, one way to figure this out is to stand up straight and tall, put your arms down at your side and see where your fingertips fall, right? Your middle finger hits almost exactly between your waist and your knee. So your arms are really long. And this is something beginning artists fail to see. And if you can start seeing those kinds of relationships in the human body, you're gonna be able to see and draw the human figure. All right. Soon we're gonna get into longer poses. I I'm going to do a demonstration of how to do shading before we begin. For those of you who need review or if you've never done shading before. Any questions? If you've never done this before, please be patient with yourself. Those of you who've done it a lot and are feeling frustrated and cranky with yourselves today, do remember that not every day is going to be your best day. Yeah. Just think, it's just not going to be. And that's just the way it is. Okay, so I'm putting that diagram away. Let's try and get right brainy. And Laura, I would like to demonstrate. Yes, I would like to demonstrate very quickly some shading techniques. And then we're going to do some longer poses. Those of you who are here in attendance, if you don't want to watch me, you don't have to. Are you comfortable the way you are? People can just keep drawing. Otherwise, you can watch me. Um, is, do you want to sit up on a table? Or? 
Yeah, you're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do it on a tabletop. Yeah, it doesn't matter where. So those of you at home, I'm gonna do a quick demo on shading, and then we're gonna focus back on Bill for you. Those of you who are here, you can just keep drawing Bill. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Here, 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 So folks at home were setting up the camera so I could do the demonstration. Folks here, this is going to now be a five minute pose. Yes, begin. And folks at home, don't feel frustrated. I'm going to do this demonstration quickly. Turn it this way. Perfect. So, yep. I'm going to quickly do a gestural drawing of Bill. Just laying down. I'm not going for realism here. And those of you who are here at the library, if you want to watch me, you can. As always. So the head is too small. I'm going to enlarge it. And the arm. So I want to now build volume in this sketch. And the best way to do that is with shading. And I'm noticing that under the sleeve of Bill's shirt, it's pretty dark. So when I do shading, I like to use the side of my pencil. And Rub. So I'm going to start light. It's always best and easiest to start light and then add darker shadow as you go if you need more dark. And because this arm is curved, I'm going to make the shading curve. Do you see the way I'm? arcing with my finger. It's quite dark on the right hand side and I'm bearing down a little harder. Those of you at home who don't want to watch me, you could go back to one of your drawings of Bill and continue working on it. You should be able to see the form starting to emerge. Just starting sketching his hand. And I'm blending shadow on the side of his arm. So start light. And go back to add more dark. And under his elbow, put some shadow. And 
I know why. All right. So that's one technique of shading. Another technique that you can do is what we call cross hatching, where you lay lines down. And the more lines you put, the darker the shading will be. And the closer together the lines you make, the darker the shading will be. This kind of shading, though, is very labor intensive and it'll take you longer. So you have to decide. All right, Laura, I think we can put the camera back on Bill. Because I've done the basics here. Stop trying that so much time. And you notice I started erasing. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh, Donna, no. you can sit oh, here. I love it. Oh, thank you, Bill. I didn't get very far, so thanks. Donna, if you want to stand, you can, but there is room. Oh, you didn't have to stop. But that's okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's great, actually. No, I think that's great. Oh, I don't want your pants, though. We all right, here we go. This is a five minute pose. Still start with the loose gestural quick drawing. Get those proportions down. Don't worry about too many details. Five minutes is still a short amount of time. Donnie, you heard me? You could sit here, you could sit there. You can stand up if you want. I like standing up when I try to. So, I feel I have more control when I stand up. What else? Keep it loose. I like how you're holding the pencil and the eraser. And the loose, long line. Try and capture all of them and then go back if you need to. Folks at home, if you have any questions or you're running into roadblocks, let me know. I'm here to help everybody. I'm not ready to really give advice yet, though. That's going to be on the longer post. We're still in warm up mode. Lovely pose. Look at where his knee is next to his waist. His right knee next to his waist. That's a good measuring stick. Oops. I shouldn't have lost the picture. Whatever. Oh. Um, but hopefully you can see, look at where his knee is in relation to his waist. Surely I know I'm blocking your view, I'll get out of that. Look at where his wrists are in relation to his waist, a little bit below. Look at where his elbows are next to his waist. A little bit higher. And 
and his posture is brilliant. Look how straight his back is. And his head is thrown slightly back. Would it be possible to see Bill and Big rather than um, it's? We're working on it. Thank you. Next one's going to be the end. Okay, so. Will the tucking in my shirt be better to see the lights? Yes. We can try that for the next one. Did you need to do it? Um. So I want you to be comfortable. That's the main thing. And for you, this is one. Maybe we could put your feet up so folks can see your feet. Ooh. I was going to bring this chair. Sit on. I like how you were stretched out on top of the stool. Oh, right. Yeah, really like to the side. That's very this is now going to be a 10 minute. So, as always, I recommend you start with the quick outline. That's good. Oh, somebody's raised. This is great. Ten minutes. Start with that loose sketch. Do your gestural drawing. Now I'm going to come around and offer advice to those of you who are at home and uh, to those of you who are here and those of you who are at home. If you want to show me your work, just let me know. Just unmute and let me know. Obviously, where his elbows and knees are is very important in this pose. Don't worry about the shirt collar yet. Try and do the whole figure. Okay, sketch in his whole body first if you can.
Don't worry about this day. about details. Ten minutes is a lot longer, but it's not that long. So you don't have to worry about details. Hopefully you're a little more alert by now. Remember at home, you can always unmute if you need me to look at your work. Let me know. It's great. Don't just believe me. Look at the figure. I make I'm not always right. So <laughs> look, look, Margo, look. This is a headline. Look how wide.
sharing time like around 10 up.
And I'll show you that a couple others. This is the NASA, right? The NASA. Yeah, your proportions are getting great. And this guy. Mm. Look at that, everybody. Wow. That's really good. Well, thank you. And then ooh. these were the quick ones in the beginning. Yeah. So Vanessa, you do this technique of putting the ball for the joint. Mm -hmm. Good technique. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Want to share, Robin? Thank you, Vanessa. Hi, this is uh, the last one. Oh, wow. Ooh, this good. <laughs> These were really, really nice, Robin. This was uh, the first one, I think. Well done. Don't you love how everybody's personality and style shows through? This, yeah. one. this one. Excellent, Robin. And then this was just a really, I wasn't able to see a lot of the pictures. So anyway, it's really wonderful doing this. Thank you. We're glad you're here. Thank you. All right, I wanna, sorry to rush, but I wanna get Bill back into a pose because we're running out of time. <laughs> Shall you can take that to your seat if you think it'll help. Oh, yeah, this is good. I like when you stretch your legs out, Bill. And let's begin, everybody. Teresa Lee. Sorry. So this will be a 15 minute post, which is going to bring us almost to the end. Come on, Sally. This may be the last one. Uh, wait. <laughs> and begin, everybody. <laughs> Get the whole thing first, like with all the drawings, even though this is a very long pose, you want to get that outlined in. Look at where Bill's hands are. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Okay. Shirley, her name is Mary, right? That lady's name is Mary. Her name? No, wait. Her, her name? name? Mary? No, her name? Yes. Sylvia, I think. She's the friend of Lisa. Yes, she's Lisa's friend. I thought she told me her name is Mary. Thank you, Shirley. This one's, if you can see the height of his feet, are the 
elbow height or the shoulder height? You can have a lot of foreshortening. You can always get up and move. I have no problem with that. <laughs> but if I had a ruler, looking at how high up that foot is, I'm on shoulder height. That'll help you see how long his legs are. See? Look at how long his arms are. Stretched out they are. And his elbows are at his waist. You leave a 15 minute pose. If you don't like how you started, start all over again. I love the hands so much. I don't want to destroy the hands. But if they think that he's the head tomorrow, he's the head tomorrow. Guys, and this is for people at home also. You can go to the website, correct, to get the survey. Go to the library website. If you like having a live model, please put that in the survey form. That will help with our class. And here are extras. Those of you who don't have one. Because, you know, I've been, I've been paying for the model out of pocket. If you put that you like the model, it might show the library that we want to be in the That's a good idea with everything. Did you put that you like having a lot of models? Never mind. Don't just keep drawing. Just keep drawing. You did it already. Don't worry. I'll take it. I'll put one or two. Leave one for me. Okay. Thank you. I'm the model of the model. Put on the drawing. You do it today. <laughs> no, I got it right here, doll. Thank you. 
They are doing renovation work here at the library. The noise you're hearing is a drill. Let's try and ignore it. Hopefully you're in that Zen meditation space. Yeah. 
Everybody at home good? We have a little less than two and a half minutes. Good <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hard. I hope you all appreciate it. Thanks. It's, it's really hard. difficult. Right? Yeah, after a while, you, get, you feel it. You feel the muscle. You really do, especially the pose you've chosen. It's not an easy one for the back. Yeah, it's <laughs> really itchy, achy. And you guys are so lucky. There's nowhere else in the world you can draw from life for free. Mm -hmm. I don't know anywhere. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hoboken Library. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here. Are, are you going to um, 
Spotlight. Laura, thank you so much. Well, I guess we should go in order. Let, let's start with last first today, Laura. Is it I, I don't know. So, folks at home, we're going to start with you first. And if you do not want to share, you don't have to. The rules of the road are we offer advice. And it looks like Robin would be first, Laura, no? Uh, Liz, I couldn't paint the last one. I couldn't draw it. The perspective was so amazing, but it was a good exercise. I don't have anything to show about that, but I showed you my other drawings. Here's so. what I suggest. Well, yes, that is true. You showed us other drawings. Do you want to quickly show your favorite from today, Robin? Um, real quick. Um, I think, I don't know. Either Ladies, this, please pay attention to the screen. Either if this, you are here, please, please pay attention to the screen. Or, or this one, which was one of the first ones. Awesome. I, I think I got a perspective. I mean, I think I got a, a sense of his posture, so. That's what we want. We want you to capture the gesture. Yes. It's doing great. So, there. The more you do, the easier it becomes. Awesome, Robin. Thank yeah. you. Woohoo! Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I just repeat this? If you're here in the library, we're sharing now. So could you keep your eyes on the screen, folks? Thanks. All right, so Patty would be next. Patty, do you want to share? I'm not ready for prime time, but thank you. Uh, great work from the others, though. Patty, I'm, I'm not going to make you share, but I want to say this. This is the time when you can get advice from folks. I'm hoping that you come back next week and you show us what you've done so that we can offer advice. But you don't have to share today if you don't want to. Thank you. You're welcome. Ione, do you want to share? Hi. Um, no, I don't want to share. My pictures are really like, oh, God, they were terrible. Um, no, I don't believe it. I could take pictures and send it to you eventually. Please do. You can send me, everybody, a JPEG. I'm going to put in okay. the chat. And Patty, you can do this too. You can send me privately. The last one is really almost impossible. I, I couldn't even do that one. But, uh, so I put my email in the chat, and you can always send me JPEGs, folks, and I'm happy to give you advice. All right, so next would be Doris. So I really struggled with the perspective on this one. Yeah, but it's great. Here's a suggestion. Make the head bigger. Okay. I think it's going to make things fall into place more for you. And then I feel like the upper arm maybe is a little longer. The elbow should be down lower. Try that. Okay, thank you. Great drawing. Thanks, Doris. Now there are two E's here, lower and upper. Lower case E, who is that? Lower case E, do you wanna share? Upper case E I think is me. 
No, E N is me. Oh. There was another Elizabeth who used to come to this. Place. Elizabeth, are you out there? <laughs> She used to have, Elizabeth used to have trouble getting on camera. It's just me with two devices on, but who are you? <laughs> and where's Suzanne? Did Suzanne leave? Yeah. All right, well, E, do you wanna share? Maybe not. If you do, we'll come back to you. And now we're up to folks here in person and you're gonna have to bring your pictures up to the camera. So Shirley, why don't you go first? Yeah, here, give me your picture. Which is your favorite? Whatever, okay. So I'm gonna put Shirley's picture up to the camera Everybody, please look. See, I can't tell if you can see oh, where yeah. you can see yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So give Shirley advice. I can't see. Which one is hot? Of course, it's a great, I'm sure. Yeah, she's still working on this. So when she does the shading, there's going to be great volumes, I'm sure. And look at these. Wow. Wow. This one is awesome. So Shirley, I really focus on the hands and feet and the size of the hands and feet. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Great. That's always. All right. What's your favorite thing? <laughs> and it could be really fast gastral ones. Now you come back to your side. Okay. I really like this one. All right, so these are by Jane. Doesn't this look exactly like Bill? Nice job, Pat. Thank you. 
Yes, Alice. Alice. Alice is awesome. Alice, this one's my favorite. So this is terrific. She's really getting the proportions. And Alice has really, she's fearless. Her lines are strong. Doing great. I like how one Sally, you actually should work. ask permission before you yes, take Sally. pictures of people's artwork, Sally. Yes. Sally, you, you, you need to ask the artist, okay? I, know. I know, I know you love their work, but you should you should ask <laughs> Alice okay. if it's okay. I, I, know. Know. I put something behind it. She knows that the shape is on. And here's another Alice drawing. Doing great. So Sally, which drawing do you want to show? Anyway. Anyone. Anyone. Yeah, I really like this last one you made. Wow, good. Sally is getting really good. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Can I take a picture, Sally? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see. Take a wow. Picture. I like your line work, Sally, very much. Well, Sally. Even at the beginning of this year, Sally, you were saying, I draw like a little kid. But oh, look at how incredible. your work has grown and changed. Yeah. You're yeah. doing great. I feel oh, that I love is being in class. <laughs> but right now, I feel. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 As you should. Really good. Sally. You are making a lot of progress. Yeah. yeah. We're trying to forward. This one has to be. This one has to be. So these are Donna's. Thank you, Sally, for sharing. Wow. These are Donna's. Also, brilliant style. Yeah. Really accurate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Donna's a, a portrait artist, I think, more than anything else. Wow. She's wearing one of my favorite t shirts. Laura, right? Mm -hmm. That's a vintage t shirt. Oh, wow. I did. I changed. Oh. I don't know why. Did you to wake up? Open up the window. Show this one again. Long work saying, let it die. It's really great work. That's a no. No. Ioni. It's her name is Ioni. Bill. 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 Thank you. We're so Bill. delighted. Bill. She's Bill. here and we hope Bill. she and Patty and we hope they come back. All right, guys. So next week we will focus on another French speaking artist and we will have Bill. To model for us yes, yes. yay. And we will continue our practice of figure drawing. We will learn more skills. Oh, well done, everyone. Well, we still have five minutes. So those of you who want to find out who the artist is for next week, you can hang around. Oh, they are. I didn't mean to end early. I thought it was 12. I'm going to look up the artist for next week. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you all for coming. I hope to see you all next week. This was great fun. I like to get the greatest chance ever. I passed the boom. I see you.